Did you make that statement? When I first went to Russia in 1934. Did you make that statement? When I first went to Russia in 1934. Did you make that statement? In Russia, I felt for the first time like a full human being. No color prejudice like in Mississippi. No color prejudice like in Washington. It was the first time I felt like a human being. Where I did not feel the pressure of color as I feel it in this committee today. Why do you not stay in Russia? Because my father was a slave and my people died to build this country. And I'm going to stay here and have a part of it just like you, and no fascist-minded people will drive me from it. Is that clear? You are here because you are promoting the communist cause. I am here because I'm opposing the neo-fascist cause, which I see arising in these committees. Jefferson could be sitting here, and Frederick Douglass could be sitting here. Eugene Debs could be sitting here. Now, what prejudice are you talking about? You were graduated from Rutgers, you were graduated from the University of Pennsylvania. I remember seeing you play football at Lehigh. There was no prejudice against you. Just a moment. This is something I challenge very deeply, that the success of a few Negroes can make up for $700 a year for thousands of Negro families in the South. My father was a slave, and I have cousins who are sharecroppers. I do not see success in terms of myself. I have sacrificed hundreds of thousands of dollars for what I believe in. While you were in Moscow, Mr. Robeson, did you make a speech lauding Stalin? I can't remember. Have you recently changed what the mind about Stalin? What has happened to Stalin, gentlemen, is a question for the Soviet Union, and I won't argue with a representative of the people who, in building America, wasted the lives of my people. You are responsible, you and your forebears, for... Created using Paltoon.